so my first ad is Levi's Laundrette. And I remember when it came out and sitting there and I wasn't even a teenager yet, yet I felt something rather lovely just turn in my loins at uh, this beautiful man come in to this laundrette and 50s Americana and sexiness on a level that was PG rated, but God, it was so loaded. I think among the sexiest advertising that's ever, ever been created. But nothing was obscene, even how he took off his belt. That could have been done in so many ways, but just the perfect framing of this perfect butt. Everything is just so considered and adds to this incredible 40 seconds that is quite unforgettable. It took me by surprise. The ad itself is a masterclass of not wasting one frame in the storytelling. It was just massive and it changed the fortunes of the brand, obviously, and we all know that. And sales went up something like 800% and the sales of Brill Cream went up, fashion on the high street changed, boys suddenly started wearing boxer shorts and it suddenly became so sexy to do that. But it really was a game changer and to the point of like bunking off school and I shouldn't say that, bunking off school and going down to American Classics on the King's Road and just touching, you know, raft after raft after raft of these 501s because they were just this route into becoming mildly sexual and just feeling great and association and all those things. Suddenly this brand that I didn't really, I knew it, but and we all knew it, uh, but it didn't really mean anything, suddenly came to mean everything in so many ways. Um, so my second ad is uh, VW Singing in the Rain, um, which was just a spectacle. From the framing of that shot to Gene Kelly in the very heavy suit to the music, and you sort of think, oh, okay, I know what's going. And then they absolutely smack you in the face and kick you up the arse. You just marveled at every single moment of it and how utterly true it was to the original, but with this wonderful twist to it. The bit for me that was the most perfect it can ever get was where he says, and there's a smile on my face, and the compositing is so perfect. I will smile on my face. And you're just sold. And that wonderful little nod at the end, which was obviously the end point for the original, but now done in a slightly different way. And then this end line, which just couldn't have been more perfect. It's one of those moments where technology just uh, progresses uh, our craft and our ability to make the most exquisite and most beautiful and talks about films. And it created entertainment and people wanted to see it. And what can be better than that? So my third ad is, um, is for three, uh, for Dance, Pony Dance. You open up on a cliff top with some Shetland ponies and this music starts. From the moment it starts, you think, is its head going to the beat? Can you hear me calling out your name? You know that I'm falling And it just has this wonderfully patient build. The nuance of suddenly the feet start. All those little touches like the flick of the hair. Just brilliant. Fleetwood Mac, I mean, who would have thought that would work so well? But it just does. It's so happy and effervescent and kind of irreverent. So his head quickly goes down, the tractor goes across. And then bang, the music starts again, flick of the hair, and he starts moonwalking again. It's just daft as brushes. <laughs> I just loved it. And I loved it in a way that I didn't want to think about why I loved it. Because as with, I think, sometimes the best ads, the best films, the best stories, they just do something to you and you don't need to figure it out and it's irrational 
Uh, it's just emotional and it makes you feel something. But that on paper would have, could have been a really or would have been a really risky script. Uh, and they took a punt on it and uh, it paid off. And I know bravery is something that everyone talks about, but it will be true forever, you know. All three ads are three very hardworking pieces of entertainment with very, very different angles and tones to it. So the first is sexy and cool and oh, just provocative. I think VW is an incredible example of where an incredibly simple story twisted through technology and given a completely modern spin can be so successful. And I think the third is just silly, wonderful fun. But at their heart and the thing that connects them ultimately is that it's an incredibly strong way to be able to tell a story when you entertain people.